Anti-ice fluid holdover charts are a sometimes confusing topic. Holdover timetables are published every year by the FAA in a booklet that includes charts for every type of approved fluid. Let's look at an example using the chart for type 1 fluid, which is the most common type of fluid found and at many airports the only type of fluid available. The two variables we need to know to determine our valid holdover time are the outside temperature and the type of precipitation. Using reported or observed temperature, we first enter the chart from the left to right, then correlate with the type and intensity of precipitation. Snow presents a tricky case in that reported intensity does not always correlate with the intensity used for purposes of deriving a holdover time. In particular, at night, the same snow conditions that would give a certain visibility during the day will give greater visibility. This means that at night we often have to bump the intensity up one level from what is reported. The official holdover time booklet includes a chart that correlates snowfall intensity to prevailing visibility. Starting from the section for night and temperatures colder than minus one Celsius, then proceeding down from one statute mile visibility, we find that snowfall intensity is moderate for the purposes of determining holdover time, not light as reported by the ATIS. In the moderate snowfall column, we find a holdover time from 5 to 8 minutes, which is how long from the beginning of anti-ice fluid application that the fluid should protect us from precipitation. Noting that it can often take 5 minutes or more to simply anti-ice the aircraft, we see that we may not have any effective time of protection. This is the reason type 2 through 4 fluids are preferred for anti-icing, even though they are frequently unavailable.